So what am I going to report on today? Thought Park have released details and prices for their 2020 season pass. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Longstabon, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Thought Park Resort. Now before we get started, massive shout outs go to Brian Galeas, Falco Flair and another shout out requesting the Valhalla video to John Rosie. If you want a shout out in our next video, please comment down below. I forgot your shout out uh, in the uh, opening dates and times video, I do apologise. Uh, but make sure you go check that video out. We'll look to the opening dates and times of uh, Thought Park throughout the 2020 season. Like I said on that video, we've got plenty of news updates and Halloween updates set to come uh, over this next week from the likes of Sock and Yemi, Skyline Attractions. Uh, we've got Halloween updates from Chessington Halloween and the details and the dates from that. Obviously, Thought Park Fright Nights dates have been revealed as well as the rest of the opening times. Didn't mention it in that video, but it will be in a separate video for Fright Nights. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights 2020 dates for Orlando and some details surrounding that event next year. Very excited indeed. Uh, and of course, don't forget we've also got construction updates coming over the winter period. Uh, we've got some likely construction updates uh, from Pop Sander Pan's 2021 Extreme Spinning Coaster by Matt Ride. Flamingoland still constructing their 10 Lupus. We're going to get construction from that. Fingers crossed. Paltons Park, they're still constructing today at Springs. So we've got a lot of projects. Award of David Williams at Alton Towers. Got still loads of details to come out from that in the new year. Uh, Mid-December, we've got a big announcement from Cedar Point. Obviously, by the this time next weekend, we'll have all the details from IAPA and all that event. I'll do some separate videos and some separate updates uh, from IAPA. Uh, depending when I can release them, I'll probably have to wait a couple of days after they've been announced, maybe, and release them at the weekend. So that should be a bumper weekend next week with IAPA coming up. Obviously, when we get into the new year, um, around January, February time, we're going to have our early 2020 predictions for Six Flags, uh, 2021 predictions for Six Flags, Cena Fair, and Merlin Entertainment. But let's get into this theme park newsroom update then from Thought Park Resort, the second one from today. This is on the season pass. Now, we did a video on this at the opening dates and times last year for 2019. This is the 2020 season pass. We've got two passes, just like last year. Uh, the season pass, then you've got the premium season pass. Um, so we're going to go through all the prices and the perks. And we're going to have, like the opening dates and times video, I'm going to leave a website link for the season pass in the description down below so you, at there at home, can buy your own Thought Park season pass. So let's get into some details on the prices and perks of the Thought Park season pass 2020. So let's start with our basic season pass, our normal season pass. Um, Plus three free digital ride photos. That's free digital ride photos. You buy one, you get one free. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, I just remember the advert. Um, so basically, online prices start from £45 per person. Uh, and it's worth £90 per person. Um, basically, not online. Um, and basically, the slogan for the normal 2020 season pass is pay for a day, come back for a season. And that's the big thing with season passes. That's why it's such uh, a good sum of money. Obviously, thought, obviously I'm nowhere near. I'm like, I'm like three, four hours away from Thought Park, so there's no chance I'm going to get a season pass because I don't think I'll make it to all the way throughout the season. But, you know, it's one, if, you li if you live quite near to Thought Park, then it's, it's well worth the money. It's well worth it if you're local to the park. Uh, so here are the perks for the normal season pass. A season enjoying over 30 thrilling rides, attractions and events. So pretty cool that. For a limited time only, buy now and receive a season digipass for unlimited digital ride photos worth £35. Uh, bring your friends for less on selected dates. It's valid from the day of re redemption until the 1st of November when the park finishes for the season. Uh, with the following dates excluded, so pay close attention if you want to buy this pass. The excluded dates for this pass are the 31st of July, plus Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays in August, and all the dates for Thought Park Fright Nights. Those are the dates you can't use the pass on. Uh, but great news, 
During these exclusion dates, a discounted ticket will be available for our pass holders for just £10. How cool does that sound? Um, so, there's some pretty neat perks. I think if I was living about half an hour, even 40 minutes away from Thorpe, I'd be buying that pass on the dot. So, it's well worth the money. Um, now, going into what the website says is best value. It's labelled best value. That's the 2020 premium season pass. Now, it says it's worth £120 with the cross-off, but online it's £75 per person. That is a bargain for this premium pass. Absolute bargain. It's only £30 more expensive than the normal pass. This is brilliant. Um, so basically, you get all the things that the normal season pass has, plus unlimited access throughout the summer, six selected dates of Fright Night's entry, and car parking all season long that's worth £30. So I think you're getting a pretty neat bargain here with this premium season pass. I'm not saying the normal season pass is bad, but I think the premium season pass is, a, I think the, the label of best value on the website definitely uh, says it all, really. Um, I think that it is one of the best values uh, out there. I think 75 pounds throughout the season for that premium pass is well worth it. And same with the season pass, really. If I was living like half an hour away, 50 minutes away from Thorpe, I'd be, straight down online and I'd be buying that pass. I'd be buying either the season pass or the premium pass. Both of them sound incredible. Me personally, I would go for the premium pass because I think you get a lot more out of it. Uh, but the season pass is still a massive, massive bonus to you, is it? Um, so I, I'm not I'm not trying to sort of balance each other out and weigh both of them and sort of pick one over the other because I think it's good to promote both in their positives. So I think both of them are equally amazing. Uh, value for money you know you look at the the you know the premium season pass has got a lot of stuff for a very cheap price that's really cool but the normal season pass may not have as much as the premium but it's still very very cheap 45 pounds for the for the normal season pass and you only need to pay an extra 30 quid for the premium one both equally brilliant value for money uh, so there we go so that's your thought part season passes for 2020 uh, make sure you comment down below your thoughts on this. Make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Ghost Chow, Keep on the Ghost of Life. I'll see you guys in the next video on Monday. Take care, have an awesome day my friends.